is the latest version of Talonite. Um, you see once you log in, you have these search parameters, um, titles, skills, companies, locations. Um, in this example, I will be uh, posing as a recruiter looking for a junior data scientist or a data engineer. So as I type these in, it's gonna auto-populate with our titles, make it a little easier for us. Um, and it automatically queries the database to see how many of these titles match in our, uh, in our population data sets, 47,000. I click Submit. Now, now automatically go into the Analytics tab, the first tab of our results. Uh, in this example, I'm not gonna add any advanced filters. I could add job categories, degree levels, salary, industry, major, or years of experience. Um, so in this first tab on analytics, we see the population size, average age, average salary, tenure and position. We see where they're geographically located across the country. As I zoom in, it will get more and more granular. It will auto recluster based on my zoom level. So it really helps uh, to get more granular um, in, a, in a rapid fashion. Um, below this, we'll have the current position, current companies, education, um, previous position, previous company, and the schools as well. So all these bars, uh, the blue bars denote the volume of the sample within that data element, and the green bar denotes the salary with our improved salary estimator on all these metrics. Um, so now I understand this population size, um, I can even get more granular from here. So this uh, candidate's gonna be in charge of machine learning projects, and we say you have to already be familiar with machine learning, so it's a required skill down to 18,000 profiles here. Click Submit, we can redo the analytics here, better understand it. In this case, we will go ahead and add Atlanta uh, as well. So we're down to 361 profiles, um, just like that. Now we can switch over to the Skills tab. Once I see these analytics, better understand my population. These are all the skills, um, all the skills work we've done based on commonality, relevance, and salary. Um, so we can sort by any three. Um, salary is the highest salary correlated um, two skills within this candidate population. Relevance is how relevant it is to the position. Uh, we see machine learning being number one. And commonality is just volume. So if I wanted to add additional skills, but I wasn't sure what they, what they are, I could click right here, see what NLP is, get a description. Um, and I could also add it to optional skills by clicking right there. So that's how the, the skills tab um, works. So next we will go into the insights tab. So on the insights tab, we can learn more uh, about this population with insightful uh, call outs here. This could help the recruiter better target candidate population, or it could be also uh, be used to, to communicate back with your client to potentially reduce or increase criteria based on uh, how realistic the search parameters are. So you can see average age, um, uh, equivalencies to the national averages or the job category average, um, advanced degrees, the gender breakdown, the veterans, um, the top interests, um, outlying interests within this population. So what are they interested in more than the national average? You see cricket, Google, intelligence, statistics, um, how long it typically takes to get to this position and the average years of experience, the industries they currently work in, and the top company. So really insightful and this doesn't, uh, this is currently not in the marketplace and other tools. Um, the next tab is the candidates tab. At any point I could save my search up here. Um, I could also look at the candidates by uh, clicking, saving the ones that look interesting to me right here. Um, or I could export all candidates right here down to a CSV um, that would auto generate. Um, we can understand the candidates here through their, their titles, their names, their age, current employer, how long they've been there, previous positions, education analytics, salary estimates, using all of our salary work. Uh, we'll even help you try to find the candidates through social searches here and search engines, or if we have an email available. Um, all candidates are ranked by skills and criteria. So um, one of the key differentiators is we let the recruiters uh, control their search results, unlike automated algorithms of other platforms. So to show how uh, insightful this can be, we'll go back to the analytics tab here. Now we see um, within this population, within Atlanta, uh, one of the, the best you know, stepping block positions, intermediate career paths here are graduate research assistants, teaching assistants, research assistants. This would be a good place to find uh, overlooked talent 
and potentially, um, you know, early on in their career progression, a little cheaper talent for us as well if we are budget constrained. So we'll add those to the titles. We'll take out our original titles. And now we'll rerun the search for these 274 candidates. So again, Aldo populated back down to uh, Atlanta for us. Much lower salary because they generally are not in the workforce yet. Um, they're still in academia. Um, understand exactly where they are currently working, where they went to school. Um, next, I can look at the skills, see how these have changed. See some slightly uh, more modern skills here, OpenCV, computer vision, TensorFlow. Um, so these are really good candidates, just with very little uh, experience at this point. Um, we also see the, the salary correlations there. On the insights tab here, we uh, get more insightful data into these candidates. Obviously, they're very young. They have advanced degrees, primarily if they're uh, graduate researchers um, in education industry. Uh, we can see their top in uh, interests here, robotics, crickets again, Big Bang Theory, digital image processing. Um, and then we go down to the actual candidate level, start looking for some of these potentially overlooked candidates. Um, as we peruse the list, we'll see you know, Victoria Wong here, um, teaching assistant, Georgia State. Typically not known for their data science school, but it's getting much better. So this is a potentially overlooked candidate. We can see has our skill set, it's in our area, um, could be a really good candidate for us. So I could click here, do a social network search, find the candidate right there, Georgia State. Um, or I could also look online with a, a simple search engine search, learn more about the candidates before I try to contact them and engage with them. But um, these are candidates that are currently being overlooked. Um, the talent eye is now leveling the playing field to let them be uh, discovered a little easier.